Hello. You're welcome to the data science uh, parallel session. And so today we'll be listening to Matsi Diso, and she's a researcher at CSIR. I think she works on um, the blast and um, explosive research cluster. Um, thank you. Okay. Um, show of hands, who was at the social mix uh, last night? Okay, I'm giving you all permission to nap if there's a need. <laughs> and I'll try to keep this as short as possible so you can also nap before the next presenter shows up. Okay, so as mentioned by Sunday, my name is Matiriso Marengwa and I'm from the CSIR. I'll be taking you through a very brief presentation on data cleaning using OpenRefine, a case of data extraction from social media platforms. So. The contents of the presentations will be as follows. I'll take you through the definitions. Uh, we'll provide brief descriptions of the most prevalent terms used in the study. I'll then give you an introduction, which will give you insight into the purpose and objective of the study, and also the relevance of the work done um, in the defense industry. I will then take you through the analysis of the social media leads used in the study, which will take you through the steps and processes followed to extract and capture the data used. And then I'll take you through the data cleaning process using OpenRefine and conclude with recommendations and future work. So social media is defined as a computer-based technology that facilitates the sharing of ideas, thoughts and information through virtual networks and communities. Um, such platforms allow for the real-time transfer of data across various channels uh, between individuals who share the same uh, views on topics and other shared interests. Data extraction then entails the collection and or retrieval of various types of data from disparate sources. Um, this involves the processing, structuring and storing of said data in a format that makes it coherent and applicable to its users. OpenRefine is then defined as an open source desktop application for data cleanup and transformation to other formats, uh, which includes the extraction, transformation, and loading of data from one format to another using extensions and, and other web plugins. So the mining of social data uh, for various purposes has become a norm in most industries due to the discovery of the potential and value of information and knowledge that can be extracted and applied by its users. Um, the data used in this particular study was collected over a period of 10 months um, as a means of gaining insight into blasts and explosives related research. Um, this data is vital as the communication that took place and other ex uh, exchanges on social media platforms occurred in real time, thus making it timely and enabling um, other stakeholders to make informed decisions when they need prevailed. With respect to the defense and security, the mining of social media data can facilitate the reporting and monitoring of incidents that occur on a global scale. Uh, the data mined in the presentation was sourced from Twitter and other online platforms such as Reuters, uh, the Daily Star and Army Technology. Uh, this in turn enabled the, uh, enabled the corroboration of data through trading it off with other viable sources of information covering the same events or incidents. I will now take you through how I went about analyzing um, the social media leads received. So a spreadsheet, a simple spreadsheet in Excel was created um, and decided upon as a feasible method to capture the data received from the social media platforms and other online news platforms. Um, this was structured in a manner that sort of like guided the data capture as to what type of information they should be on the lookout whilst uh, skimming through the media posts. So Twitter alerts were set up first um, to provide regular updates on blast and explosives research. Um, we then extracted the Twitter post uh, keywords to create a query, uh, which was then used to search on various search engines. Um, the hits returned were then evaluated and skimmed against the Twitter post to determine whether or not 
the information presented in the post um, has any relations or correlations with uh, the initial post received from the Twitter alerts. Uh, sorry about that. In terms of the triangulation of the data received, uh, we analyzed the following. Uh, the title uh, to determine whether the syntax is similar to that of the Twitter post. Uh, the content to determine whether there are any correlations between the content. Uh, the source to verify the credibility and validity and also the date to determine the timeliness of the content. Uh, these posts were then used as leads um, using the search query to identify other posts, which were then all skimmed and then uh, data was extracted from all three posts, apart from the initial Twitter post from which it stemmed, um, and then used to actually populate that Excel spreadsheet that was mentioned earlier on. So in terms of data cleaning using Open Refine, uh, thematic analysis was applied to extract knowledge from the data collected. And then data extraction was facilitated by the set descriptors highlighted in the spreadsheet created. Then Open Refine was used to help mine clean up and visualize set data. Uh, this data actually provided answers to, but not limited to questions such as the most prevalent sources of blast related information the types of events or blast incidents identified, the devices used, the perpetrators and uh, explosives ordinance groups and the methodologies and techniques that they used to dispose of explosives, the locations in which the incidents took place and also other explosives and firework safety issues if there were any. Uh, then all of this was then compiled into a summative report at the end which provided insight into the state of explosive research uh, effects of blast incidents and trends within the domain. Okay, so this snippet over here provides insight into the countries with the highest track record of explosive incidents and helps shift focus on which countries to monitor the most. The next one uh, provided insight into the environments in which most of the incidents took place and also of the most popular devices that were used by the perpetrators. This was then applied to help drive internal research and shift focus and effort to predominant threats in terms of the explosives identified that should be kept on high alert and also the mitigation strategies that could be applied by groups. Um, this one then provided insight into the training efforts used by the EOD groups identified and also the types of methodologies and techniques that these groups were using and are used to, are found to be most effective. And then the groups and participants of these exercises were also extracted as a means of creating a database of potential suppliers or collaborators if the need prevails. I told you this would be short. Um, now, <laughs> coming to the end of my presentation, um, I recommend the automation of the triangulation of the data used in the study from other online platforms and also the use of web scraping software to automatically extract and define um, data from other online platforms. I'll also look into the application of this work done in other research areas or tasks. Um, those who are napping can wake up now and those who didn't, yeah, you can commence your nap. Thank you all for your time. Thank you for the presentation. Um, do we have questions for Matsudisu? There are questions for Matsudisu. Hi, thank you. Um, I'm interested in something I saw flash up and it might be related to other stuff you talked about, but um, yeah. categorizing tweets by topics. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'd just like to understand that a bit better, how you went about that. Is it related to the thematic analysis or uh, that I saw or keyword extraction? Yeah, uh, how's it working? It was thematic analysis using the keyword uh, query search as well. So that's how it was done. Yeah. OK, so, so that um, template I showed earlier on actually kind of like specified what exactly should be on the lookout for during skimming those uh, posts. OK, and there's is there any use of like synonyms or uh, other kind of semantic analysis related to your keywords? Yeah, you could develop an ontology with synonyms, which would then guide um, the query as well. So, 
Okay, cool. Thank you. Sure. Are there other questions? Okay. Were you all seriously napping? It's just like one question. All right. Um, just a, a, a question at the, you, I think your last slide there, you had a note about triangulation of data. Yeah. Um, what does that mean exactly? So it's the way you verify one source of information to mm -hmm. confirm the validity is to find if there are actually any other posts that cover the same content and corroborate what was actually said in the initial post that you discovered. But um, so let's say in a world full of bots where bots are writing uh, a lot of articles written by other bots that were written by other bots, mm. surely it's very easy to find data that corroborates, but it's not necessarily a canonical source. Yeah, that's why I need to actually find um, web scraping software that can automatically also validate the authenticity of those posts, also to avoid misinformation and all of those other things as well. So, yeah. Okay. I have two questions for you. Okay. Um, so how did you go about the correlation? Oh, it was a tedious task. I actually had to like manually go through all of the posts myself. And then I used um, Open Refine to query all of the posts captured in the spreadsheet to determine the correlations because it could actually help you see if there are any matchings in the content that you've captured. So, um, so why why the choice of open refine? Uh, it's open source. It's free, and, <laughs> and it actually helps you deal better with messy data. Are there other questions for? Or... Thank you so much. Uh, I just wanted to ask about what informed your keywords. How did you how did you determine those keywords? Uh, it was actually I had to sit down with the client and actually figure out exactly what the requirements were for this particular task. So a lot of the insight I got from the clients for which I did this task. And how big was the corpus of Twitter data and I guess the data in general that you had that you had to sift through? It was massive. Yeah, it was massive. Yeah. That's, oh, I, I would love to talk more about it at the break. If, awesome. If you, do that. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the presentation. All right. Thank you all.